Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep. My name is Agurk. This is going to be challenge number four in my challenge series. And this one just kind of came up opportunistically. This hammerhead was swimming around here while I was doing something and I decided, well, I have him on my bucket list of sharks to kill with a knife. So I am going to try and kill this hammerhead using nothing but a refined knife. Whoa, hello. So I am out on a shipwreck here, obviously, as you can see, and this guy is swimming around. He's very fast. He's way, way, way faster than the tiger shark was. This is not going to be an easy task, I don't think. I don't have any uh, breath boost yet, so I'm going to find one here and take a breath boost so I can stay down longer. As you can see, I have lots of bandages. I've got food and water. Oh, that was a bad move. Oh man, he just bashed me with his head solidly there. I guess that's why they call them hammerheads. <coughs> oh, hello. Oh, get him, get him. Ah, that was a good solid hit. Blood spurts out of his tail there. He's going to be coming around this way. Yep, there he is. Nope. See how fast he turns away. You can see the hunter instinct in him. He keeps circling around and coming at different angles and changing his direction and stuff. No, oh, see, he saw my knife and he's like, nope. <laughs> I wonder if they're programmed to do that type of behavior where they're, ooh, that was a good solid hit, where they basically, I don't know, are they programmed to attack from behind and to change direction and stuff? I would assume so. But how sophisticated is their programming? Because he seems to turn away when he sees me coming at him with a knife. So he knocked off one and a half of my hearts with that headbutt. That's nasty. And I didn't even take any damage, like bleeding. Oh, come on, come on, whack. Oh, I'm pretty sure that hit. Oh, oh. Ooh, that one might have hit too, I'm not sure. It's so hard to tell sometimes whether your hits connect or not. Oh, oh, another headbutt. But I got you back. That was not good. Now I'm down three hearts just from being headbutted twice. Come on, buddy. That's not fair. He's using his head as a weapon. I've got full food and water, so that's good. And we're healthy, we're not bleeding. Where the heck is he? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Uh, see, you know, I can't even catch him, not even close. I'm sprint swimming and he's just swimming away from me, no problem at all. That's the one thing with the tiger shark that was a little bit easier. If I sprint swim, I can catch a tiger, but if I sprint swim, there's no way I'm catching the hammerhead. Oh, there he is. Go, oh, swing and a miss. Where is he? Where are you? I don't know. I've lost him. I don't know where he is. Oh, watch behind you. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, he's so sneaky. So sneaky. Oh, 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 that was a bad idea. Oh, he lured me out right into his trap. See that? He swam away, circled around, and caught me right in the open. Little devil. I gotta be bleeding now for sure. It's funny how you notice it's only my left arm that bleeds. My right arm never bleeds. All right, so we took a bandage. We've got only three hearts left. That's not so good. Just a tip, don't jump in the water right in front of the shark. <laughs> He'll bite you as I do the same thing again. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Let me know down in the comments if any of you have tried to take on a hammerhead shark with just a knife or some other 
lesser weapon like an axe or something, a pickaxe or a fishing spear. Usually I like to take out my sharks with spears, you know, from a distance where you're safe. Whoa. But taking them on with a knife is a different experience. You have to be quite careful about what you're doing or else you're going to get yourself killed. All right, my health is starting to go back up. That water bottle is empty, so I'm just going to take a drink from the other one. I need a little bit of food. I'm topping up my food and water all the time because that's how you heal quickest. I mentioned this in my last video when I was taking on one of the bosses, but if you didn't see that, basically the way healing works is that if you have full food and water, you will heal much quicker than if you do not. Mm, I think I got him there. And if you're down probably like three or four bars of food or water, you're not going to heal at all. So you're just going to basically bleed out or die. Whoa, he came right into the container there. I wasn't expecting that. I have no idea how many times I've even hit this guy. Oh, here he comes again. And I see he turns away and he turns back around again. I think I missed there. So hard to tell whether I hit him or not sometimes. Oh, oh there's another headbutt. Stop doing that. Oh, he's getting slower. Look at that. I can almost catch him. I wonder if that means he's injured. Do you guys know, because uh, I have never really noticed this, do these sharks actually become less effective when they get injured? Or the more injured they get, do they become slower and slower? I don't know. Uh, keep an eye on that. It certainly seems like he slowed down a little bit right there. Maybe I've damaged him just enough that he's uh, slowing down a bit. Uh, he seems pretty quick still. Oh, that was a good solid hit. Oh, look at that. Oh, he looks injured now. He looks like he's struggling. You should run away. <laughs> you do not want to meet the wrath of a gork. Oh, look at him. He's like limping along. Oh, sure. And then he puts on a burst of speed. Sure, prove me wrong. Jerk. Oh, 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 breathe, 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 breathe. Oh, I forgot to breathe. That was stupid. That lost me a little bit of health. Don't forget to breathe, guys. Very important. Breathe, <laughs> or you will lose some health. Oh, there he is again. With these breath boosts, you can stay underwater for so long that I just I just forget that I need to breathe sometimes. Oh, whack. That was a good hit. No blood, but I did hit him, I'm pretty sure. Whoa. So quick and dodgy. I don't know. Does he, he doesn't really seem slower, or does he? Maybe a little tiny bit? I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. I don't know. Okay, I'm almost up to four hearts. That's pretty good. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, if you can see my raft, I fixed the hole in the middle of my raft. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my boss fight against the giant squid. <laughs> that was just stupid. Look how slow he is. He's definitely injured. Come on. You can't tell me he's not swimming slower than he was before. He's got to be hurting. Oh, God. I got to breathe. Oh, yes. He was definitely injured. Did you see that? He was just floating along there, tasting my knife for the final blow. Nice. Two hearts and a bit of health left. And we've killed a hammerhead shark with nothing but a knife. Yes. All right, that was challenge number four completed. Kill a hammerhead shark with a knife. Woo!
Next up is going to be a, uh, oh God, I hate to say this, but I'm going to have to take on a goblin shark with nothing but a knife as well. Because those guys are just jerky and scary as hell. So I'm not looking forward to that one, but yeah. Season 2 of Let's Play Hard will be coming soon. That's going to be really interesting. I'm going to be trying to live on a shipwreck. And I'm going to implement a bunch of other fairly strict rules to make my life more difficult, to make it more interesting, and to try things that you don't generally see in most people playing Stranded Deep. So that's going to be really interesting. I may be asking you guys for some help on some ideas of what to do and what restrictions to put on myself. So stay tuned for that. That's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment down below, give me more suggestions. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. It does help me out and keeps me motivated. So do it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.